So how can we tell if two ratios are equivalent to one another? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So when you talk about a ratio, it's like you're comparing two quantities like uh, teachers to students or boys to girls, right? Or any two quantities you're comparing to one another. And you can write it as a fraction or you can put it with a colon in between the two or you can even write the word two, T-O. But in general, ratios are written as fractions like this. And we're trying to see, are these ratios equal? Meaning, are these fractions equal to each other? Well, one way to do it is to reduce the fractions to lowest terms and then you can compare them. So for example, uh, 12 over 18, I can see that I can divide the numerator by six and the denominator by six. You wanna make sure you do the same thing to the top and bottom. And you can see we're getting 12 divided by six is two, 18 divided by six is three. And so you can see, yes, two thirds is equal to two thirds. So these two ratios or these two fractions are equal. Now that's one method. The other method that you can do is what's called the cross product, okay? And the cross product, just like it sounds, you're going like across on the diagonal here and you're multiplying these quantities together. So what I mean is you'd say two times 18, is that the same as three times 12? Okay, so two times 18 is 36, three times 12 is also 36. So since this is true, that means that these two ratios are equivalent to one another. So let's take a look at another example. See if you can do this one. You can do it either way, whichever one you prefer. Let's try the reducing method first. So here I can say, hmm, what can I uh, divide both the numerator and denominator by? It looks like I can divide them both by five. So five goes into 15 three times, five goes into 35 seven times. Okay, we reduce the left side. How about this second ratio? Well, it looks like six goes into here, uh, both numerator and denominator, 18 divided by six is three, 48 divided by six is eight. You can see these fractions are not equal to each other. These ratios are not equivalent, right? But the other method, if you don't like that reducing method is to go ahead and use this cross product method. So I'm gonna to go to the calculator on this one, but we've got 15 times 48. We're asking ourselves, is that the same as 35 times 18? So let's see, 15 times 48 is 720. And we're wondering, is that the same thing as 35 times 18, which is 630? You can see these are not the same, which tells us that these ratios are not equivalent. So the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to learn after you learn about ratios is how to work with proportions. And that's what I talk about in that video right there. So follow me over to that video and we'll dive into proportions. I'll see you there.